it is my pleasure to invite up here to the podium the very funny, dynamic, and creative Mr. Paul Castronova. Graduates, congrats. Party's over now, you gotta go to work. Boy, I'll tell you. I graduated with a 4.0, a 2.0 in the spring and a 2.0 in the fall, but I had good grades. It doesn't matter. Every, every C and D that you stressed out over the years doesn't mean squat, you got your degree. <laughs> That's awesome. I, um, I wrote a speech, and I, and I, you know, I got a, a million things I want to talk to you guys about, but on my way here, I thought of a few things, and I just, I want you to, I'll tell you my story, and throughout my story, you'll pick up a few things, but there's a couple of things I want you to know that people may not have told you, so just try to remember this stuff. Number one, um, someone's going to say, uh, it's not about the money. Uh, yes, it is. Um, <laughs> I went to see Al Pacino speak last week, and the uh, first thing he said was, it was never about the money for me. It wasn't about the money. And I'm thinking to myself, the only people that say it's not about the money are rich people, because they already have it. So I know you guys got into this business to make a bundle, so save a little bit and spend it and have some fun. But it is about the money. Number two, um, you will come across fears in your life. And I look back on my career, and there were fears that I had that I didn't explore. And I think that you can take those fears I really should have been on Saturday Night Live. I didn't make it, but I mean, I did okay. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, if you have something and you're like, oh, I just can't, I can't, I can't, suck it up and do it because I think you can feed off that fear. Uh, another one you'll hear, it's not about who you know. No, it is. It's all about who you know. And I think you should look at this group right here because that is a group of really talented, brilliant people. Use them. I'm telling you, I still, I know my professors from the University of Florida to this day. I mean, I just got an award from those guys and uh, they, they showed up. I couldn't believe it. And, uh, but I remember using them throughout the years. And, and when you're in business, um, shake everybody's hand and get out to, get to know everybody and as many people as you can. And with social media, it's even easier these days. But I mean, I know that if I got fired tomorrow, colleagues from the University of Florida, people that I've met throughout the years, I am going to tap into that. And, I, and I'll tell you, it's about who you know because the people you know are gonna hire you someday. So the kid sitting next to you that you may think is a goofball, he's gonna be running a huge film industry, or film studio one day or whatever, and, uh, and remember that person. Another one, and this way it hits home because I got a brother-in-law who's a moron, but um, I love him, but he's an idiot. Do not be stubborn in your life. Oh, but that's not what I wanna do, it's not what I studied, I don't wanna, shut up, just do it. Um, don't let principles get in the way of a paycheck. My brother-in-law's got a master's degree in, in, in environmental engineering, but he doesn't want to do that anymore. So he's frickin' tending bar. I'm like, you idiot, get out there and make some money. So I mean, you want to do something, but until you get to that point, do something else. Just work, make sure you're working, okay? Is, uh, parents, parents in the crowd, acknowledge yourselves because your parents are still way smarter than you are right now. Until you turn about 50 which is my age, and then we're smarter than them. But I mean, tap into your parents and trust them. They're gonna give you advice. Don't, I know we think we know everything when we're 22, 25 years old, but the folks are really there and lean on them, okay? Plus, if you're nice to them, they'll probably still give you some money. Um, I talk to talented people here, and I know how talented you are because I went to DMAC and checked the place out, holy crap. Um, so I know something to, to about being talented. Um, I feel like I'm one of you, sort of, kinda, but, um, and one of the things we need to do as talent is be inspired. And so don't just work, live your life at the same time, work as hard as you can, but when you're playing, play hard. Because I think that when we, when we play hard, we are inspired and inspiration leads to creativity. I just hope you remember a couple of these things. And, and one final thing, and when you're out there going for jobs, and a lot of you are gonna be doing that very soon, negotiations. Remember this, you're never gonna get one more penny than you ask for. So when you sit down and the guy says, uh, so what do you want to make? Turn around and say, what would you like to pay me? Or what do you think I'm worth? Because if the minute you say, ah, $30,000, you're not going to make 31. All right? So just remember that one. When you're negotiating with your, your first job out of college, what do you think I'm worth? Okay? Because the second you lay it on a number, you ain't going to get any more. Um, it is a tremendous pleasure. Those are, those are the things I thought of on the way here. The speech should only go two to three hours. You'll be fine. Um, I didn't have the luxury of having parents as cool as you got, your parents, when you wanted to go to this school because I wanted to be an artist. I wanted to go 
to the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale. Now, they're around, I think. Nothing compared to DMAC, but I mean, this is 1978 when I graduated from Lake Worth High School. And um, at that time, uh, the Art Institute was located on the strip in Fort Lauderdale, on the beach, above a bar called the Button on the Beach. And we lived in Lake Worth, sleepy little town, and we knew of Fort Lauderdale, we knew of spring break, but something you just saw about in the newspaper or read about on TV. Um, my dad says, I don't know about the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale, I've got to go to real college, I've got to relax. I just, Dad, I'm a cartoonist, let's go check this place out. So we get down there, and um, we, uh, we walk up to the front door, and we're looking around, and it's middle of spring. Thousands of drunken college kids and near naked, and the door opens up to the place, and you have to go through a staircase to get through the button on the beach. A guy gets thrown out, the bouncer throws a drunken freshman out, or a frat kid out the door and um, throws a beer, which um, ended up on my mother. So uh, we didn't see the Art Institute that day, as my father promptly took me back to my car and said, you're going to real college, you're not going to go to the Art Institute, a bunch of drunk kids, blah, 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 blah. So I remember, uh, <laughs> I remember those, uh, those days, but I, you know, it, it's about, it's about, left turns and right turns in life. So I was going that direction, but I shifted gears and well, we're going to the University of Florida. So I, I, I wanted to, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I just, you know, I wanted to be in the entertainment industry. So uh, I came into, I, these guys called me, so I came to DMAC and, and I was very inspired. And, I, and I, I haven't drawn in 20 years. I think they have a clip of something, MJ. Not yet, but wait one second. Because I saw all you kids. I went to this, could you see me when I was walking around the school, anybody? No? I snuck around and I went in all the classrooms and I saw what everybody looked like. And I went back and I said, can I still draw? So I did a compilation of what I thought all the students at DMAC would look like. And then here it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> How did I do? We use, we use, uh, I don't, maybe I should have brought up some pencils and pens. We, I don't know if you guys know what pens are and pencils. <laughs> we didn't have, I did this on, a, and I, just, I thought to myself, wait a second, if I show these guys my artwork, maybe I'm the, uh, I could be the next Seth MacFarlane, because one of you guys, I do voices, and then we could all meet, and you guys could animate this stuff, and we could get rich together. Anybody? Anyway, take it down. I just thought I'd show you. But I mean, uh, the stuff that you guys are doing, uh, I hope that the world gets to see what the DMAC students are producing because I had no idea. But over the years, my career has taken me different places. I was on an airplane, I met a guy, and now I got, like you said, I got a vineyard in Italy. Who the heck, I mean, I, in a million years, this kid out of Lake Worth has a vineyard in Italy. I am on the board of directors, I do a lot of charity work. I, I, I run a fishing tournament for the Miami Dolphins. Um, I've done many television shows and I'm on social media, a million, I didn't even, I took a computer class in 1984 and I was screaming at them going, why do we need to take a computer class? I now run six computers while my show is going on. There are things that you will learn now that you can't believe you're going to use later on. Um, I have a great family, my wife's a cancer survivor. Again, you know, you're, you're going to get these bumps in the road along the way. It's how you deal with it, with it that shows what you're made of. So. I mean, when my wife got sick, I could have hit the bottle. Oh, I did a little bit, but I just, I kept working, I kept sucking it up. Um, there is a part of me that looks at these wonderful young people, and I really envy what is ahead of you because of the technology that's out there. I mean, the future's got to be exciting for you guys. You're cutting edge badasses. You're really talented people, and that you're never, I want you to know this, you're never, ever, ever going to have to have a real job. Congratulations. Good luck. We're all counting on you. From Digital Media Arts College, with all the privileges and responsibilities associated thereof. Congratulations.